All right, we have the man collects, the spouse who tolerates. We're going to Rogersville Walmart, and we also have the real boss of the family with us, Madison. Say hi, Madison. Hi. <laughs> Let's go in and see what they got. Let's see what's in the toy section. There's one thing that's in the toy section. A wild Pokemon running around. Um, Transformers. I see nothing. Dinosaurs. I mean, you see nothing. There's stuff everywhere. My brethren. See, look. Found something. <laughs> Ooh, they got the older Marvel Legends here. What is that one? Quake. Strange. Madam Hydra. Speedball. Oh, this one's nice, but... I think that was from a Loki TV show. Oh, here we go. I said we don't have a multiverse, but I found them here. Oh, we've got Adam Smasher. Knocks oh, some stuff around here. So I see what I'm doing. Blackest Night. Oh, Black Adam. Huh. Blackest Night soups. So not a whole lot for those. Anything on the top shelf? This Anything is on the top shelf? Two thousand. You want one of those? Kind of. Can't touch your mother for that. Oh, we do have the new Avengers wave. There's the orb. This one's cool. And the Scarlet Witch, Strucker, um, Yelena, Wonder Man. That should be Extremist Iron Man. Let's lay this here. They got Red Skull and the Molecule Man. So no Ultimate Captain America. But they got all the rest of them. Uh, what else we got here, kiddo? You got anything? Me. Mm -hmm. Make your ears flap. Hi. <laughs> got some page punchers down there, but kind of the older ones. You have non-intelligent people laughing. Statue of Chica. All kinds of Five Nights at Freddy stuff. All kinds Why of Pokemon cards too. Oh, we got wrestlers. Who we got in wrestlers? There's Cody, I mean, not Cody Rhodes, but Kenny Omega. Uh, got Christian Cage, Jericho, Hangman Page. All kinds of these Jerichos. Uh, let's see. Don't see any G.I. Joe anywhere. We got photo bombed again. All right, that's gonna be all for this. I'll see what else we can find. Let's look at diecast. Ooh, and I'm being photobombed again by <laughs> flying Pokemon. We've got Ninja Turtle stuff. Your trucks. I don't see any hundredth anniversary Warner Brothers yet. Hundredth anniversary of what? Warner Brothers. It's like the little Scooby-Doo vans, what it look like. I don't think they have any of them. That's sad, man. They have a very small Hot Wheels section. That has not been stocked. Well, that was a quick romp through diecasts. I guess we're going to check collectors, and they'll probably be up for this Walmart. Uh, what are we going to zoom in on? Let's go on this one. Well, to be more of a small Walmart, they got a lot of cool stuff here. Pretty good-sized collector section. Hmm... Hey, look, Hulk's got on bunny slippers. <laughs> what have they done to him? They've humanized him. Yeah. Well, I got you on camera there. That headless entity there is my wife. <laughs> Our bodyless entity. Entity. Oh, Raphael. I don't see Raphael that much. He knows little thingies. This stuff is like that. We got a mummy. What stuff is old? Like this kind of... Ninja this. Turtles isn't old. Well, this kind of style, I think. It's, well, it's, just a newer one. it's supposed to be huh? like a, it's supposed to be like like a mummy. I don't look like mom at all. I'm gonna tell your mommy set look like her. <laughs> <laughs> She'll never know. I think got the old Batman Who Laughs thing done. I started to buy that a couple of times in the past. I got the Predator one. It's really nice. Oh, you got a lot. Oh no, she has a lightsaber, a purple ball, a Pokemon hat, and a lightsaber. <laughs> That's all a girl needs in today's world to survive. 
All right, I think that's going to do it for the collector section. Oh, no, nope. Kelly just said she found more. There's Who's that? Stuff. Oh, yeah, there's Avatar stuff. There's Aang. This is the only one there. $700 or like a $7? It's okay, mass hard. <laughs> okay, we're going to go check out this other little section Kelly found, so we'll be right back. We did find some more. There's a bunch of stuff on these end caps. There's some turtle two packs, Super Shredder. And Deadpool. Someone's trying to like, run in front of the camera again. No, I'm not. And their mother stopped them. <laughs> I thought that was like the KFC guy for a second. The KFC guy. <laughs> it looks like Yellow Gang. Uh oh. No, she dropped the ball. I did not. YouTube just seen it. She dropped the ball. What have we got here? These things are on clearance here as well. Not seeing too much exciting there. And one more end cap here. Um. Oh, she's found video games. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it. I got the little Netflix section up here. We'll just look at it. If Walmart wasn't very exciting, but still, the new went been to before in Rogers Hill, Tennessee. I guess I haven't said that. And it's a good chance to get the girl on the YouTube channel since Luke's been on here with me. Now Madison's been on here with me. So I'm going to go find where they went. And if we see anything else, we'll film it. If not, I will see you on the next adventure. Good Monday morning, everybody. It is beginning of a new week, so that means we're beginning a new hunt here at the Bristol, Virginia Walmart. So let's run in here and see if they got anything new on the shelves. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. What are you going to have for me this morning? Uh, we got John Kent, King Shazam hiding up there. Got a lot of Transformers here. Not a, we have any dinosaurs besides that. This Jurassic Park's kind of Horse. Let's put our protein bars down. Leo, Donnie, Raph, and Donnie. And then we got pizza tossers. And these. So, a lot going on in Retro Turtles this morning. One we got over here. Someone made Poppy or Huggy Wuggy there. Look like he's embarrassed. Pikachu looking at us. I don't think anything there is new or different than standing out anyway there's some AEW guys up there yeah. uh, among us Mario movie babes here what do we got over here anything different in these nope legend still got the bone breaker wave I can tell by looking there, they haven't restocked anything. A multiverse. They got a spot there for Beast Boy and Joker, but they don't have either one of them. Um, I don't see anything stuffed up top. It looks like it might be a G.I. Joe right there. We'll see what that is. So they got a crap ton of G.I. Joe movie figures up here that just aren't selling, and they refuse to put on clearance to get rid of them. Blackest Night. I've already seen what's there. I think I've already pointed out Black Adam, not for sure. Uh, no Batmobile. Well, they got that one. They got Bat Wings. And they actually have a Extremist Iron Man. Two of those, looks like. And Extremist Iron Man, Zombie Iron Man, Zombie Scarlet Witch. Cannot wait till that goes on clearance. I will get me another one of those. I'm assuming that might happen when the new wave comes out. Okay. Got our Star Wars. We'll flip through those in a second, but I'm not anticipating anything different in those. What have we got here? Walmart exclusives. Wardlow and MJF. Uh, Dark Flash, The Flash, Flash and Batsuit, Batman. Flash, 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 Batman, and Black Adams. Still need to pick up this one. That's the only one I don't have. I'll get it eventually. I just killed something. What was it? 
know where Superman came from. Well, it came from Krypton, but I'm not sure where that one came from. All right. Penguin, Awkward Man, Duke Thomas, Duke Thomas. John Kent picked him up for free at GameStop the other day because I bought that Loki. And they rang him up free, so I'm counting him as the free one. King Shazam. I can't tell it. <sighs> I'm destroying everything. Sorry, Batman, but at least he's still laughing. <laughs> uh, that's a demon. Okay. All that for a demon. Well, I want to see what this is. And Storm Shadow. Is this a Marvel Legend? Oh, no, it's a one jack. I should have known when I pulled it off there on the other side of the slant. Uh, let's just flip through these, see what we got. Thunderosa, Kofi Kingsden, Alarose. Rose. It doesn't look like they've had a restock of AEW. Just make sure this is all movie figures, and it is. <sighs> Nothing there. There's Pokemon cards. Uh, they got some up there. Still got one Snake Eyes and Timber. Well, that's going to do it for the main tool, y'all. Yeah. Let's go over and look at maybe some Lego and diecast and anything else we can find. All right, we got some stock boxes, but I think that's the ones that were here the other day. We got some pops here too. Hmm. Not anything I see there that jumps out at me, but maybe someone else who sees it will be like, hey, I've been looking for that one. Uh, potty bags. Don't see any Batman. Everybody's seen the new 89 Batman sets that are coming out. You got a Batwing. You got that Batmobile Joker chase thing. Which they are pricey. But all Lego is expensive now pretty much. But hey, we haven't had any good DC sets in forever. I mean, pretty much you're looking at the last decent ones. You got that one. The Technic. And then the, the Bat Cycle. I picked this guy up at Best Buy the other day for 40 bucks. Can't wait to put that together. My buddy on here, CB Fishing, was talking about how good that set was, so looking forward to that. Haven't built a Lego set in quite a while. All right, let's go check out Diecast. I'm just going to take you guys with me. There's, my day just opened. There's not hardly anybody in here except for employees. What do we got here? A little Coke. It's pretty cool. Tommy Boy. Some Hollies, Reno 911, 24 Valvoline. It reminds me back in the day of a Mark Martin, um, Jeff Gordon mix. What do we got here? Oh, so what kind of Batmobiles we got today? The Batman, Batmobile, Bat Cycle, the Bat Animated, and another Bat. I don't see they actually had some of the hundred year ones here last week. Oh the Kung Fu Panda van's pretty cool. They got some of those hundred years. That's not the ones we're looking for though. That's Disney. We're looking for Warner Brothers. There's another Kung Fu Panda. A little bit closer more closer up the view. I got Michelangelo there. Some Monstar trucks. Got some of the Mario Brothers van up there. That's something else laying. Let's see what it is. Oh, two things. Oh, man, I am dropping everything this morning. This is going to be a good, a good toy hunt day. I'm going to destroy half the toy house. I got them. I've got to watch this. I'll probably want this after I watch that, and then I won't be able to find it. Anybody watching this now? Have you seen the Mario Brothers movie? Let me know. Was it any good? I gotta say, I gotta appreciate my fan base here because I don't have time to research when things come out, when things are released. Obviously, by some of the comments I make on here, but I had a lot of people let me know, you know, like the Street Fighter figures. Chun Li's not out yet. Or on the Ninja Turtle retros. You know, you don't have um, Rat King released yet. So, appreciate everybody letting me know stuff like that. I don't see any of the 100 year Warner Brothers here. I'm going to have to end up eBaying that 
mystery machine. What we got in color shifters. Still haven't gotten my Batmobile yet and seen what it does once the water hits it. I mean, judging by the package, it gets red flames, but I can either verify or, deny or confirm that yet, or deny or confirm that yet, yeah. But one thing I am going to confirm, we're going to go to collectors, see if we can find anything. I'm going to peek any stock boxes down here around the corner. If I see anything looks good, I'll open it and film it. If not, I will see you in collectors. And now we are in collectors. They still have that Hot Pursuit Flash. I'm wondering at this point if that would even ring up as anything. Turtle 2 packs. Stock boxes, guys, not much there. The only thing I did see that was cool, they had an end cap of Fast and the Furious Hot Wheels. I was going to try to film it, but there were some employees there trying to put that stuff out. I got out of the way. I don't want to stand there and bother them when they're trying to work. And I'm just sitting here goofing off. Uh, looks like they sold the Batman pops. What we got over here? Not seeing a whole lot new in this sort of day, guys. Kind of struck out here last week, too. Got two Injustice. So you got what, two Green Arrows and a Superman down there. Send me these two packs they got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those things. They're down to three Predator Q figs. There are four. Still got that clay face with the busted top. It's been here forever. And got a big Riddler. When are they going to clearance some of this stuff? <laughs> Get some new stuff. Anyways, that's going to wrap us up for this store. I will see you in Target a little bit later today. And in typical Monday morning fashion, we are going to hit Target here and see what they got. So let's go in and see if they restocked anything over the weekend. We are going to start in diecast because they are stocking over in the other aisles. So let's give them time and see what they get. It's kind of looking at the names on the bottoms there. You got the Batmobile. That's kind of cool. Looks like it will... Nissan station wagon there. Lunchbox. Oh, look at the Indio Raptor. That thing's huge. I got a Spider Man 2099 out of place. Still not seeing those. Got to be Walmart exclusive. 100 year Warner Brothers. Batman. Justice League. The Batman. There go the stock carts. We're going to run over here in a second see if they put anything out. Let's just finish scanning this aisle first. Then we'll head back to the action figures. Charlie's Angels. Pickers. 90210. Skateboards. Okay, let's go. Alright, Guardians in cap. Doesn't look like it's got anything different. And let's just walk up here to what we came in here for and see what we can see. We got some Transformers. Some Lego Harry Potter on the end cap. Well, we got a bat cycle. Oh, <laughs> that's the signal. I saw that yellow and was thinking it was the uh, Sinestro. Batman, they got both Flash there, in the bat suit and the regular from the movie. Got the Flash in that. Still got a Superboy, and then a this Storm. If I haven't already said that. Got the big bat wing and the small bat wing. What's that forty-nine dollar bat cycle pack with four figures? Hmm. Is that one from the movie? I can't remember unless they got something like that coming out for um, the Flash. Man, no GI Joes at all. Let's think of some over there in collectors. Some of that other Guardians toys. Wakanda Forever. One D and D figure. This thing's still not on clearance. If it ever goes on clearance, I got a chance. I will grab that. I think that Venom is awesome looking. That goes on clearance too. I'll probably pick up that big sad Groot. Uh, what do we got in these? 
Star Lord, Drax, Star Lord, Groot. Okay. And let's just see what we got in this. Gwen, Miles, Miles, 2099. Spider Man, Miles, Miles, and Miles. Miles, and Miles, and Miles. Ah, oh, here's something different. I haven't seen Ant Man yet. That's pretty cool. Oh, I won't stand up. Well, it's been drinking. This should be the Hank Pym Ant Man here, of course. I'll hold him. Let's get a picture of Ant Man. We got four of him. I did notice here they've already knocked down Avengers Legends 27 to 24. I don't know what that would have been unless it was that tracksuit guy and he's already gone. Man, they got tons of these things now. These things are on Hasbro Pulse for $24.99. I don't know what the shipping is. But somebody wants those and doesn't care to order it. $25. Bucks. Uh, what else we got here? Gujitsu. Pokemon cards. We got Madison, not this one, one of these elite trainer boxes. Some guy at a card shop told us that was what to buy to try to get the better cards. And I don't know, I don't know enough about this stuff to know what's good and bad with them. Anybody watching this knows a lot of Pokemon cards. Hit me on Instagram or something. Tell me what to look for to find the kids some good ones. I got our Mario figures. I don't see. Bowser. I actually got that big Sonic thing there where Bowser's tag is. Got the big Mario down there in the carts. Well, we got Fortnite here. We got Midas Rex. The Foundation. That's pretty cool looking. And the Omega Knight. That Omega Knight looks awesome. And then some Halo. But I think that is going to do it for the action figure. I will go check out some wrestling, see if they got any turtles or anything next. Okie dokie, we got some more dinos here and big Tyrannosaurus Rex there from the 93 Jurassic Park. It's kind of cool. And there's another one from Jurassic World. Like I gotta say, it looks a little better. Dinos are kind of thin, as you can see here. That's the one if I was buying one. That's pretty cool. What do we got here? Just storage shells. Leo, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. You got Beast Man. Two two bads. Another Beast Man. Three more Beast Man. Don't see Man at Arms anywhere. I do have a big raft. There's still twenty five dollars here. That one at Walmart back home was twenty four for Leo. I gotta check those out. Uh, those all Andres. They are. Got a Sala. Six inch indies. Um, look here, eighteen fifty four. This guy's marked down some. That thing's cool looking. I got some Ultimate AJ Styles for those. Let's see if we've got any variants. There's one. Oops! I'm dropping everything out. Samu there, they got the variant of him. Not Fatu. If there is a variant of Fatu, I'm not for sure. Uh, so I got an AJ Style, Ultimate Warrior, Samu, and then another regular Samu. AJ. Mysterio, Ranger, Mysterio, Becky Lynch. Alright. We have already done die cast. Um, I already looked at the line with the poly bags and Lego. There is no Batman, so I guess we're ready to go check out collectibles. Collectors, what have we got here? I'm not going to dig through all this, guys. It looks like the same stuff they've had. Somebody's got one of the Tooney Terrors. Um, they live back in there. They got a couple, two or three of those. The Iron Maiden up there is pretty cool. Can't really get the glare off his face the way the phone's angled here. Ghostface and Ash. Batman. 
Beyond Batarang. Uh, we got a Ninja Turtle hiding over in here. Who is it? If I can get this stuff to move, it is Otom or Utom, whatever his name is. Gremlins, they live, Red Ronins, Predators, Back to the Future. Again. Nothing we haven't already seen before. This thing is cool though. T Rex with the crippled explorer. Here are our Justice League pops. Um, no Batman. I never have seen Batman in that. I don't know if he's exclusive to another. I thought those were all Target exclusives, but I haven't seen them. Don't see any Batman back in there for Flash. Daredevil and Scroll. Still got the Alien Marine up there. That thing's cool. And some Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, she Hulk Abomination's kind of cool looking. Still got the Elite Series Turtles over here. Got some big She Hulk, Big Miles, Godzilla, and Kong stuff. A huge stitch there. Lilo and Stitch. Enterprise is kind of cool. Oh, they still got this. I wonder if they got more of these. I'm surprised they're still here. Last time they got these things in, they didn't stay on the shelves very long. Which the other day, I can't remember if they had two right. Oh, they had two Phalongs. Maybe they did get another right in. Still got Radioactive Batman. Those turtles have been there forever, as long as that one. Well, as that one, I mean. Um, what is this? May 20th. That we missed that. Some spawn figures, page punchers, Earth 2 Batman. That right there is very tempting. I'll end up with that one of these days. Got the grim ones there with the Wonder Brothers tattoo on his chest. That thing's pretty cool. Okay, let's take a walk down here and see what they got. And I don't see anything else. This is probably going to do it. They were stocking some over in the toys today, but not a lot of what we're looking for. Still got all these Pokemon. They did sell all the white boxes they had here, whatever they were. Still got some Elite Trainer boxes there. Gotta learn more about that stuff. Help the kiddo out. Well, they actually, they sold a Batman art. They had four, now they're down to three. I keep hoping they'll clearance those things, but so far, no good. <laughs> Still got a bunch of those mechs up there. I've got that mech. I think it's pretty cool. And nothing new really added back here. Nothing on clearance. I think that's going to wrap us up for Target. I find anything else my way to the register. I will film it. If not, if I'm going to see you anywhere else, probably see you for the wrap up. Let's change things up a little bit and go to Lion. Actually, this is Books of Me and you just can't see it for the tree up there. So let's run in here and see if they got anything new. They threw me for a loop here. They moved the multiverse figures on me. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I see the big Batman Keaton Poe statue. Got Dark Flash. Sabak. Adam Smasher. Uh, what's behind? Got another, all kinds of big Adam Smashers in there. I found that thing for 11 bucks at a Target. Somewhere in my out-of-state trip. There's Rebirth, Three Jokers, Dark Flash. Flash in the bat suit, regular flash, regular flash, dark flash. What do we got here? Infected Batman. Uh, that's another infected Batman. Another infected Batman. The flat dark flash. Flash we already saw. Hush, hush. Superboy. The rest are black atoms. We got Batman here, we got Jay Garrick, Superboy, Flash, Frost King Wave, Super John Kent, Batgirl, Joker from Infinite Frontier, and then another Joker from Infinite Frontier. And then all of these Wonder Woman, we got some Titans, Nightwing, Green Lantern, Green Lantern. What's last back there? Can't see it. That's a dark flash. Black is not bats. Black is not bats. Let's just. Sorry, 
guys. It's hard to do one-handed. I can't see back in here. Darkest night bats. Or blackest night, not darkest night. Let's see here. I'm going to have to take a knee here. Hopefully nobody thinks I'm proposing to them. Kyle Rayner. Kyle Rayner. Superman. The Rock. The Rock. Future State. Future State. The Rock. The Rock. Small Atom Smasher. Small Atom Smasher. Cyclone. And Small Atom Smasher. Don't know. Kyle Rayner. Man Page Punchers. Now I gotta fix all this back. For the $37.99, I'm not sure what those are in the retail stores. Our spawn, Fezzik from Princess Brad. This stuff. There's some ET neck. I'm not going to flip through all that. I still got Last Ronin's, Alf, War Duke, and Grim Sword. Uh, Casey Jones. It's still 19 bucks. I don't know what that is in regular stores, but that is tempting to get. Well, what have we got back here? They used to have Multiverse, which used to be right here. All those blind bags. Princess Bride. Uh, some mugs and whatnot. I'm going to head back to here. Star Wars. I saw this on someone's live stream the other day. Oh, look there. Mystery Machine. Wish I had the Hot Wheel. I still got that Batmobile. I wonder how much that thing is here. Um, wow, it's got a $50 price tag on it. No clearance that eventually all the other batmobiles they had here they clearance because you know i know that because i bought them <laughs> um they've redone their toys back here a little bit they got these big cinderella and alice in wonderland stuff i haven't seen those before and then all kinds of pops the kids on the block we're just going to walk by the amazon electro is kind of cool there's some flash, but I don't see any Batman anywhere. We got Nightwing down there. Let's take a look at him. There's Indiana Jones. Oh, Nightwing looks pretty cool from Gotham Nights. I'm gonna try the pumps here. Twelve ninety nine. It's about a dollar more than usual. Hulk from She Hulk. Uh, Spider-Verse, and there's Cinderella, or Alice in Wonderland, my bad. All kinds of Indiana Jones pops. Uh, what else? Got some Marvel Legends over here. X-Men, Sire, or Bonebreaker Wave. Got some Guardians and Thor. Uh, we got Sleepwalker, three of those. Oh, that's kind of cool. Iron Man helmet. For, how much is that thing? Don't see a price on it. They also got Thor's hammer. 15 bucks. I would assume the same price for Iron Man. I'm getting kind of scattered here, but here's some 
anybody that goes into books to me and toy station knows it's kind of just kind of thrown around a little bit uh, there's some movie moments they don't have that bugs bunny as superman again i saw that last time i was in here there's a rose golden girls tiki and some lord of the rings best action the kiki mora some netflix witcher figures some Star Wars. I don't think I've seen this before. Sucka and Grogu in a windowless box. Uh, that lamp there. Look at this. Is that not awesome? If I collected Star Wars, I'd want half this stuff. What have we got on this side of the marble aisle? A little Groot. What does he do? tell anything no he does okay got some more legends there dr. strange um, kind of just glancing around guys I think that's gonna do it see this one but if I do see anything else I shall film it if not I will see you at the next and there we have it four different stores in this one uh, two Walmarts a Target and a Books a Million uh, the first store you saw me in, Walmart in Rogersville, Tennessee. You went there with the family, with Madison and Kelly. Um, that was a smaller Walmart. I didn't anticipate it having a lot. I mean, it had good stock. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the shelves were empty. There's nothing that I was looking for in there. The biggest point of that video, Madison wanted to be on the channel. I've had Luke on here with me. I wanted to get the girl on the camera, so it was good to get out with her and Kelly and, you know, hunt some with them. And uh, Madison's wanting to do her own YouTube channel one of these days. She's a gamer. She's wanting to get on here and do some gaming videos. And trust me, with that girl's personality, when she gets YouTube, YouTube better be ready because I can guarantee you she'll take it by storm. But anyways, and not, we didn't pick anything up in the Rogersville um, Walmart there. And the next store you saw me in is some of my normal weekly haunts, um, Bristol, Virginia Walmart. Again, they hadn't restocked anything there that I could tell. Um, again, they had a good stock on the shelves. I don't want to sit here and sound negative. I didn't, didn't have anything. They doesn't have anything I was currently looking for, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's still fun to get out and look. Don't matter if you find anything or not. Uh, Target in Bristol and went there. Did see something there I hadn't seen before. The new Ant-Man Marvel Legend figure. I hadn't seen that before. They had it on the shelf. Um, they did have one Marvel Legend that was previously $27.99, marked down to $24.99. I was kind of wondering if that was that tracksuit mafia guy, because he was $27.99 last time I saw him. So wondering if they've already marked that down in price. It hasn't been out that long. Uh, Target did have the Dark Trooper, a little three and three quarter Star Wars. I don't collect Star Wars. That thing has always just appealed to me. I think it looks awesome. It was marked down to $18. If that gets down a little bit lower, that's going to be tempting to pick up. Did I pick it up for that? Stick around for the haul and see because we did have some pickups from that Target. Uh, Books of Me, and I hit that this last place you saw me in the video. I haven't been in there in a little while. They changed everything around in there. Moved the multiverse and the Marvel Legends around. Um, they still had some newer multiverse. They had the Pose Keaton Batman statue. I've already got that thing, but it's still cool to see that in a retail store. I've seen, I think I saw that at Second and Charles on my huge you know, multi-state hunt there, and now I saw it in Books of Me, and I get my thumb out of the camera there. Sorry about that. But anywho, again, we looked around Books A Million. They had some of the newer Flash figures, and they had some cool stuff in there, but uh, nothing we picked up in Books A Million. But we did have a pickup from Target, so let's look and see what we got. Today, I didn't see a whole lot new, so today is kind of about completing some holes in my collection. So some th one thing I did pick up, this is the last three and three quarters, or four inch, whatever these are, a Spin Master Flash figure that I needed to complete what's been released so far in the, the single carded Flash movie figures. There is a set on Amazon. It's Amazon exclusive. It's got Zod in it. Um, I haven't got that yet. It's actually, last time I checked, it was out of stock. I'm probably going to get that because I've got all these Spin Master stuff so far for Flash. So I'm probably going to pick that up eventually just to have the whole set of everything. Uh, the second thing I picked up in Target to keep with the, I guess, the Flash theme, I got the Flash. So I got two Flash figures today. This is the last 7-inch figure I needed to complete all the ones currently released for the new Flash movie. So we picked this up to go with that and complete it up there. And you can see, I mean, it's not in the best shape ever was. I mean, it's got a little bit. The only thing that really gets me about it, I didn't really notice the tape there is kind of messed up. I don't think it's been open. It looks like it's still sealed good, but I don't know. I must have rolled it up there or something when they put it on from the factory. Uh, but with that being said, that is all of our retail pickups. Now, before I get into my usual closing spiel, we're going to switch to my kitchen counter. I've got a couple of things I picked up at a flea market I went to. On Saturday, I didn't film it was too busy, but 
These are awesome pickups. I've already had them on Instagram, but I got to get them on camera on, on a video here. Maybe end up doing a short about one of them because it's awesome. So with all that being said, let's switch to my kitchen counter now. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me back here at my kitchen counter. We're going to take a look at a couple of things I picked up over the weekend at the Smoky Mountain Flea Market in Sevierville, Tennessee. Um, I didn't film there. It was so busy around that place. It had been hard to film anything. It was packed in there shoulder to shoulder just about. But you usually don't find too much there for a good price unless you got cash. So luckily this time I had cash and got some pretty good deals on some stuff. So just remember, here we go to that flea market off exit 407 in Sevierville. Make sure you got cash. But the first thing I found, and I can't remember the names of the stores I went to, but the first little place I went had a figure Bane here from Batman and Robin. I did put a picture of this on my Instagram page. If you follow me on there, you've probably already seen this. But that movie, I think everybody can agree, did not have the best on-screen interpretation of Bane. And I'm not trying to be negative about it. I know the actor that played Bane in that movie has passed away, but the figure, on the other hand, look at this. It's a great-looking Bane from that figure line. I think this was 25 bucks in the store. He let me have it for 20. I paid him in cash. And I did what any sensible collector would do. I stood in the store for 15 minutes researching on eBay to make sure it was a good price. And what I can see it was, because this, this thing looks brand new, which it is unopened, but I mean, the card is perfect and straight. And there's no creases, good and shiny, no discoloration to the bubble. And I gotta say, to be one of the, in my opinion, the weakest of the, the original four, what I call Batman movies, the figures didn't look bad to that. He also had Mr. Freeze. Ah, I'm really regretting not getting Mr. Freeze, I'm not gonna lie. I think Mr. Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger's rendition of him was the saving grace of Batman and Robin. He was over the top and he was great as Mr. Freeze, I thought. But we did get Bane from Batman and Robin at the flea market. Now, this next thing I picked up I don't want to say this was a grill. I didn't know this existed until, I'm trying to think when I found this on eBay a few years back. It seems like back then, it may have just been the sellers, but it was like 400 bucks. So I never thought I would open it. But this comic series, when I was young, you know, I wasn't aware they had like interpromotional crossovers like between the comic book companies. And Predator was Dark Horse, Batman was DC. I don't know how all that's intertwined. Maybe DC owned Dark Horse or had a controlling interest. I have no idea. But when I saw their characters cross over, I thought it was a big deal. You know, when I was 12 years old or whatever back then. So we picked up the San Diego Comic-Con, I think from 2019, exclusive version. I'm going to clean that off there. Of the Batman and Predator NECA figure two-pack. I think this is NECA. Is this NECA? Now, let's see. Eh, may not be naked. I don't care what it is. It's awesome. I know that much. But let's open this up and take a look at this. Oh, look at those two figures. This is awesome. It's something I never thought I would own. I've never seen it before. I've seen it on eBay, but really when I found it on eBay years ago, there wasn't a lot of them on there. So, you know, I never thought I would see it in person. The guy had two of them, so I picked the one that's in the best shape. And I'll just come out and say he was asking $200 for this. He came off considerably when I offered him cash for it. And again, I sit there and sit on eBay forever comparing prices and my enabler wife <laughs> made me talk to the guy and offer him cash. And I got this thing for what I think was a really good price, way less than what he was asking. So I was pleased with that. But this comic story, you know, the Predator comes to Gotham City. Batman doesn't really know what he is and he wipes the floor with Batman the first time they meet. And then Batman goes and gets this armored suit and puts it on, and pretty much at the end of the book, he ends up, you know, just beating the crap out of the Predator with a baseball bat. <laughs> then he ends up winning the fight, of course, because he is Batman. But again, look at the detail. Look at the Predator there. That's a good-looking Predator figure. The face sculpt on that. Ugh. Batman and his battle armor there. It's even got some scratches on it there where the Predator's got him a couple of times. That's just, that's, that's great. Very happy to have this. And again, I may end up doing a short. Let's put this on YouTube again. This this is an awesome set. Again, something I never thought I would own. Never first time seeing it in person and picked it up. So I'm glad to have this. I'm also glad to have Bang. Very pleased with my flea market pickups. But that is going to do it for today's video. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, you'll see it here on the screen. Follow me on Instagram. See other things I post. 
If you do follow me on there, you saw these things as I actually picked them up. But be sure to follow me on there to see what's coming down the pipe on there, as well as getting some previews of what comes here on YouTube. Also, if you are a first-time viewer or the returning viewer who has yet to subscribe to The Man Collects, consider hitting subscribe. Almost to 500 subscribers. At the time of recording, I'm at 495. So I'm five away from 500, getting closer to my, my first goal of 1,000 subscribers. So I appreciate everyone's support, and I thank you for watching.